Okay, I had some people asking, so I figured I'd attempt to do a quick video on how my bastard gun functions. Um, I apologize if it's poor quality, but I don't really have a way to hold the phone and, uh, you know, explain the gun at the same time, so I'll do the best that I can. Uh, In-game, the magwell pivots up and down as the gun cycles, and uh, that's connected directly to the bolt here, so like that. Um, as far as the mechanical design, I believe that's similar to a Thompson Blish Lock, which you see in the early Tommy guns or Thompson submachine guns from the United States. Uh, mechanically, that would be a delayed blowback. It's not a locked breech as originally envisioned, I suppose. Uh, the, the principle is flawed in itself, but basically this whole setup here is a delayed blowback, which... Arguably could work for a gun like this if it were to fire actual ammo So that's not really important. You guys just want to see how I made it work. So we'll get right into it The magwell itself is a piece of stamped steel tube that I made. I formed it around a, uh, a buck, you know flared one end and I've already removed the spring on the bottom and the nut, but it comes right out and you'll see these two big steel angled wedges on the front and that we'll put that here that interacts with a pair of fingers that extend off the bolt underneath which also have 45 degree angled wedges so as i cycle the bolt back they slide forward like that or rearward actually they slide rearward and this angle works off of this angle on the magwell to lift it up so once again, similar to the Thompson Blish Lock principle, which is how I envision this gun working. Um, for a prop like this, that's perfectly adequate. So first part of disassembly is you remove the, uh, the magwell or the feed assembly. Put that aside. The next step, I've already done it, but you remove the two screws that reinforce the top cover. There's one on each side, but I've taken them off. And then this pin in the back mounts both the stock as well as the rear of the top cover. So what you do is you pop this pin out and the stock falls off. Let me try to catch it here one-handed. Excuse me. So I suppose if you wanted, you could actually just have this gun stockless like a pistol too. But we'll set the pin aside. It's one quarter inch in diameter. And now this is going to be a little tricky to do one-handed because it's a very tight fit, but oh, that actually wasn't so bad. Pivot it off the front, and there's a spring in there, which is all bent up, and just pivot that up, remove the spring like that, and then you can lift the top cover off. So, pardon me, but like I said, this is very difficult to do without a cameraman, so... If you want to see the uh, the inside of this, it's just a piece of sheet metal with a flat on the back, and uh, the rear pin goes through the hole on this piece that I made. There's a guide rod on the top and the recoil spring, which just nests on it. This is a spring out of a 1911 pistol. I do a lot of gunsmithing work and had a spare on hand, so worked perfectly as far as a found part. And then... All that's left is the bolt. Now this bolt is not an actual functioning bolt. It's just kind of a chunk of metal made to look like a bolt from the exterior. And it just comes out. But, yep. Like I said, not really much going on with the bolt because it's not a real piece. It's just kind of a mechanical linkage. So these two arms are pretty crudely welded onto it that extend out under the magwell. And... That's really all there is to it, so we'll set that down out of the way. And in here, we have the trigger group out of a paintball gun, which I've shown before, but, you know, there's the sear, and it catches on a little blob of weld that I put on the bolt. So, yeah, mechanically, this is a delayed blowback open bolt system. Uh, very simple, and... The cool thing is, I feel like this could actually work as a real gun had it, you know, been designed that way. You know, initially playing the Metro games, I thought it was kind of unrealistic, but 
having put one together myself, I have a little more respect for the the uh, art designers of the game. So yeah, same thing in reverse. Just you know, you put the bolt in, and then the top cover, which I'm not going to do right now, and the feed block is the last piece to go in. But pretty basic. So I hope that helps in understanding the way this gun works. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Take care.